This is Twit. Um, I like to think of myself as someone who knows how to take really awesome photos. Okay. But I'm not. Um, but I found an application that actually makes your photos a little bit more uh, intriguing and very interesting. So um, this was a photo that um, there you go. Uh, I was with my daughter at the beach. So right oh. right away, there's nothing uh, spectacular about it except for us two. But if I hit this little play button here, if you can, I don't know if you're able to zoom in. But the waves are actually moving. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna show the show you guys the tutorial one that they use. So there's this guy right here, and uh, what you want to do here is animate. And by the way, this uh, this app's called Pixel Loop. Um, in light pixel loop. In light pixel loop. So you can sh uh, tell the app what you want the path to be, and uh, these are just some of the examples of how uh, the app thinks that the waterfall should go. If you want to be completely weird and have it go up, you could if you wanted to. Okay. Um, but then what's very important is that you have these anchors because if you don't have the anchors, it's actually going to start pulling pretty much everything. So you'll you'll notice that it's actually pulling the well, cliff. Now I just feel like somebody Yeah, it's this weird vertigo kind of feeling. Yeah. So you want to place anchors here. So then when you hit play, then it's just the water okay. that's moving. So that's the water. There's also this um, feature here um, where you can actually change the sky. So there's different sky elements. There we go. So that's harder to that's see. That's harder to see here. There's... Oh, I see. You can kind of see it. Yeah, it's a little little bright. A little bright, but... Um, Easier to see in person than it yes. is on... Okay. Take my word for it. But then also there's um, there's that kind of old timey looking <laughs> uh, effect to the to the actual photo as well too. You can change the length of the the, the video because essentially this is going to be a video that you can upload to Facebook or Instagram or something like that. Right. Um, and then um, this is all part of the free part of it. If you want, you can go into Pro. And Pro is going to give you a lot more uh, functionality. Like you can put fire in there. You can have other elements that um, I don't want to set a tree on fire, so I won't do that. But you can have you can have other uh, elements um, that. Well, there's that fire again. Um, <laughs> Too late. You set the tree on I fire. I guess I'm setting the tree on fire. Good um, job, Tony. There's also like these kind of starry kind of things that. Uh, can uh, uh, appear on the screen. So it just really allows you to kind of mess around with the animation. Um, and you could, what I really like about this is that um, it kind of allows you to go beyond just a, uh, a static photo mm -hmm. and uh, make things do uh, little little tweaks that you wouldn't necessarily notice right out of the gate. But uh yeah, the more and more you do it, the the better it gets. So this is free uh, as an application, and if you want to remove the pro uh, limit, then that's the one thing. It is either a subscription or you can do a one-time purchase of sixty bucks. So it's it's quite expensive, but again, if you're, you know, if you take into account how much, you know, like an actual pro uh, f photography uh, application is. Then um, it it might it might be useful to, to some of you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there cool. you go. Right on. It's called Enlight Pixel Loop, and it is in the Play Store, as are all the apps usually that we show off. Usually. Show. Usually, I like the drawing of the paths. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a very unique yeah. kind of approach, yeah. and the anchors like that.